Welcome to church for Home of Christ Kids. And as you can see, we're still here in outer space and we are so glad to have you back again. Now, today we will continue our study of Nehemiah and his example of initiative. So remember, we heard last week that Nehemiah put together a plan to rebuild the wall all around Jerusalem. And it's actually going pretty well for him. But while everyone was hard at work building the wall, Nehemiah became aware that some of the poor people were being severely mistreated by some of the community leaders and the wealthy. And so even though Nehemiah was so eager to finish the wall, he stopped all the construction just so the poor could be helped and justice could occur. You know, I really love this about Nehemiah because I guess I picture him as this tough construction guy and he's out there getting the wall built, but then he just stops it all to care for those in need. Bottom line, we should look for ways to make things right. You know, our own church family here has been very active in helping those in need during this COVID pandemic. Did you know that we gave thousands and thousands of medical face masks to hospitals here in San Jose and Mountain View. There was such a shortage that the doctors and nurses didn't have enough masks to safely care for their patients. And so our church leaders took initiative and they helped them out with that. We also sent money to India a few months ago to some of our mission groups over there who were doing pandemic related work during a very rough time for that country. I really like that this church has a giving heart, especially to those in need. And actually, one of our favorite children's projects is coming up very soon. In just three weeks, it will be shoebox time again. Yeah. And in case you don't know about the shoebox, here's a little video that explains it all. The joy of seeing a child open the boxes for the first time is just, it's incredible. There's squeals and screams, and they're so excited to see what's inside their box. Oh my goodness! Every shoebox gift represents the love of God to them. We are so excited. Many of the children receive the shoebox for the first time in their life. We're here with Operation Christmas Child. The kids are so excited. We had the opportunity to hand out some of the boxes. There was so much joy, so much happiness, and it gives us an opportunity to present the gospel. We pray that these boxes will be used to bring a lot of happiness and joy, but more importantly, the gospel to each heart, to all these little children around the world. What a great gift. I get a present, I get to know who Jesus is, but not only that, I get to be discipled in His ways. Hundreds of thousands of volunteers work with Operation Christmas Child every year, preparing these boxes, praying for the boxes, that God will use them in a mighty way for His glory. This little shoebox has the opportunity to change the world. Not only are they going to get a shoebox, they're going to get the love and the message of Jesus Christ. Some go by helicopter, some go by ship, some go by camel, donkeys, canoes. We go at great lengths to take these boxes to children in the most remote parts of the world. And it's an incredible journey. After these children open the box, they have the opportunity to go through the greatest journey, the 12 Lesson Discipleship Program, where they get to learn more about Jesus Christ.
Right now, I'm right outside of Mazlan, Mexico, about six hour drive up in the mountains. This is an indigenous people group, people that never heard the gospel before. The kids and the families that accepted Christ, almost a hundred altogether, have now started a church. Hemos visto una experiencia preciosa, grande, ¿verdad? en el pueblo. Y ese pueblo va a ser el medio para llevar el Evangelio a otros lugares. Que estas bendiciones que son de las cajitas sigan llegando hacia arriba y a la montaña. This shoebox gives us an opportunity to continue to shine the bright light of the gospel in the darkest and remote places around the world. We're seeing families come to know Jesus. Churches are sprouting up in these communities. These children are rising up to be disciples in their own country. The gift box and the gospel of Jesus Christ bring hope to our children to bring the smiles back on their faces. No greater need and no greater time than right now for us to go out and serve boldly. This is what these shoe boxes are all about, to go out and bring a hope of Jesus Christ around the world. I'm just so amazed at what God does each and every year. This is an opportunity to impact the lives of millions of children, just like you've seen. But we need more boxes for next year. Every box is an opportunity for us to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. So thank you, and God bless each and every one. Nehemiah and build a wall with our shoe boxes filled with love for kids in need. So until next week, remember that we love you and God is good all the time.
goodness you're here come child why do i have to be the baby stay in character be the baby why do i <sighs> come on keep up Welcome to the So and So Show. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And I'm Joe, baby. And you just got Joe rolled. Whoa. Hey, hey, hold on a second. What is going on? Yeah, what are you doing here, Joel? Yeah. Oh, come on. It's your favorite guest. Is that any way to treat me? Come on, baby. I'm here. Might as well make the best of it. It's time for somebody who trolls stuff. Yeah, okay. Uh, who are you and what do you troll? My name is Joel and I troll stooges on the internet and also to their faces. Like this guy's face. You know, it looks like a, a plastic um, orange balloon. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's bad. Uh, what can we do for you, Joel? There's nothing you can do because you're not. You don't have a... You can't. I rule. What was that? Yeah, I... Oh, well, you know, of course, Brandon doesn't get my insults because you don't... You, you have a... You know, if you read a... Your, your brain, your, your brain is so smooth. Knowledge. 
Uh, you're usually a lot quicker with the put downs, Joel. What's going on with you today? Nothing. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Normal Joel here. Unlike the two of you who are not cool. <laughs> you still got it, Joel. You still got it, my friend. Are you okay? Fine. Fine. You know, fine. I'll talk about it. I, I thought he was going to talk about it. <laughs> Hold on. Thank you. The air bill has been... You know how I like snakes, right? I did not know that. Yeah. Well... What in the world's going on? Should we cut? Yeah, I, I don't know... Uh... Okay, I don't think he's coming back, so... No, uh... don't eat that. Come on. Eat this. Come here. Ah! I do. This is Jerry. You want to say hi? Hi! Hi! Uh-uh. Hello, Jerry. Anyway, lately I've been thinking Jerry could use a snake buddy with him in his habitat. So, I went online and I found this little guy. I got a great deal on him. Only $250. Oh, is that good? Of course it's good. Mm -hmm. You think I wouldn't do my research? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I bought it. And then I waited seven to ten business days for it to be delivered. Mm -hmm. And then today, guess what? What? I got a package in the mail. Here, hold this. Oh, I don't want to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You want to? No, 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 no. No. Right. No. I, I, oh, no, I cannot look. <laughs> See? It's a picture. Yes. Oh. That's what I paid for. $250, not for a snake, but for a picture okay. of a snake. Mm. It's not fair. I was tricked. Yeah. Um, here, can you... Do you mind? Jerry, be nice to him. He's being nice. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry that someone, you know, cheated you out of your money, Joel. That was... Yeah. It's got me out of my rhythm. I can't even troll the two of you. I mean, people who don't do stuff good. Ah! So, so, wait a minute. You're upset because someone on the internet treated you unfairly? Yeah? So? Well, isn't that just, isn't that what you do? You know, you troll people on the internet? What's your point? Uh, nothing, nothing, no point, no point, no I point. I think what John is trying to say is that maybe now you understand what it feels like to be, you know, bullied. What? Well, I just thought that Jerry could use a friend. I guess... I guess I could use one, too. Uh, All right, look, you guys, you guys stay here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a phone call and uh, see if I can get your money back. Who makes phone calls anymore? You know, you try writing a letter. You could send it by carrier pigeon. Uh. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Whatever. Well, since he's gone, uh, what's next? Something boring, I bet. Uh, no, actually, uh, the next part of our show isn't boring at all, and thankfully there are no snakes. Hmm. Uh, where's, the, where's the snake? Where's Jerry? Oh, uh, he's around here somewhere. <laughs> he does this. Oh, uh, then, then it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, hey, Joel. What's that? You see a snake where you are, Kellen? No, why? No reason. Uh, what, are, what are we talking about today? We're talking about Nehemiah, who you may remember took the initiative to repair the broken down walls of the city of Jerusalem. But the walls weren't the only thing in the city that was broken. Nehemiah saw that some people in Jerusalem were being mistreated, and he knew that something had to be done about it. What is... Okay, here we go. Oh, come on, they didn't have courtrooms like this in biblical times. I know, just watch. Oh. 
All right. I saw everything that was going on, and I'm furious about it. But I want to make sure you have the opportunity to explain it to me in your own words. Um, okay, sir. Um, the king's taxes are really driving people into the ground. Um, we've lost all our money. We can't even afford to feed our sons and daughters. Don't you have fields? Vineyards? Can't you grow your own food? Well, we, we, we had to sell our fields and vineyards to pay our taxes. And we had to borrow the money from them. What can I say? I'm a giver. You're charging us interest. So it's my money. Don't I have the right to charge interest? Just in case you don't know what interest is, it works like this. Someone might let you borrow $5 now, but only if you agree to pay them $7 later. That extra $2, well, that is interest. Okay! So you're charging the people interest. Don't you see how bad a time they're having? Hey, it's not my fault that they don't have the cash they need to keep their fields. Oh, so you took their fields. I did. And their vineyards, but hey, I feel for the people. I mean, they're my cousins. They're your own family? Does that seem fair to you? I don't know, maybe. We've had to sell our sons and daughters into slavery. We had nothing left to give. What's the matter with you? Hmm? These people are in need and you're taking advantage of them when they're at their lowest? Well, I, I see that, I... but I... Our Jewish brothers and sisters know what it's like to be sold into slavery. We, we went through so much to bring them back and now you're forcing your own people right back into it. But judge, These people need help. You should be lending them money. That's a good thing. I'm lending them money and grain, and so is my family. But we should not be charging interest. It's the right thing to do in this situation. I find in favor of the plaintiff. You will give the citizens their fields and vineyards back. All loans will be repaid with no interest. Uh, so I'm gonna clean up my papers. Nehemiah saw people being treated unfairly and he stood up for them. And as followers of Jesus, we also need to be on the lookout for opportunities to do good and to love others. It's the right thing to do. See you next time. Hey, thanks, Kellen. Yeah, that was a lot less time wasty e than I anticipated. I got it. You got my money back? Yep, should be in your account now. Yeah. How did you do that so quickly? Uh, well, I just, it turns out that a little kindness goes a long way. Ah. Well, um, uh, uh, three, three, four, think, the, what is this? Are you trying to say thank you? I've never done this before. Give me a break. Thank you up. You're welcome. Also, you smell like onions. Wait, 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 don't go! No, yeah, you forgot your pick. Sure. Hmm. Why are you sitting on the desk? And Jerry's loose. All right. <sighs> Reveal the question. Today's question is, who do you see being treated unfairly? Yeah, is there someone you know that other people make fun of because they're different? Maybe they don't have the cool clothes or have a different accent or something? Or is there someone you might be treating unfairly, like a little brother or sister? Yeah, take the initiative and stand up for someone when they're being mistreated. Mm -hmm. You'd want someone to do that for you. Yeah, and if you know how to catch snakes, yes, please stand up for us right now. Yes, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the so-and-so show. What are we going to do? Stay here all week. Okay, I'm down with that. All right. Wait. Can snakes climb desks? Jerry, Jerry, Jerry.
Jay. I think he's gone. Jay. You sure he's gone? Yeah. I don't see him. You it's guys okay. see him? Hey, hey. No, that's Okay. That's, I think he's gone. He's fine. All right, great. He won't be here. Man, if that thing got anywhere There's near me, I would freak Stay out. Stay out there. Jerry! Oh! Oh! Jerry! 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 Get it off Stop, of stop me. the heart. Go hurt him. Go hurt him. Ah! Ah! Jerry, come here. Ah! Come here, buddy. Ah! Come here, buddy. Ah! It's okay. It's okay. Ah! Woo! Woo! Oh, buddy. Thank goodness. He'll be fine.